Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the MSI Radeon 7770 Power Edition. This is featuring triple overvoltage, which means you can overvolt pretty much any aspect of the video card that you could possibly want to, which, as you guys may or may not have figured out at this point, is better for overclocking. More voltage means more clock speed, as long as you have the cooling to back it up. And this particular SKU gives you a lot of different options in terms of the cooling. So first let's go with, you know, what it has. So it's an AMD Radeon 7770. So you got, you know, your power play, your power tune, your crossfire support, your affinity support, HD 3D support, HDMI 1.4A support, Dolby True HD and DTS HD Master Audio support, all of that good stuff. One gig of memory. It is a PCIe 3.0 card manufactured on the 28 nanometer process technology, which means it is extremely power, power, power efficient and performs well. And it comes with a dual Molex to PCIe 6-pin adapter. It comes with a fan. That's a strange inclusion. It comes with a propeller blade fan. This looks an awful lot like a VGA fan. But the confusing thing about that is that the video card has a fan on it now. What else does it have? It's got a DVI to VGA adapter, some documentation, and a disc that you shouldn't use. You should download the latest from the AMD website in terms of drivers and from the MSI website in terms of utilities like MSI Afterburner, which is an awesome overclocking utility, speaking of overclocking. So let's open this card up and have a look at what is unique about the 7770 Power Edition. So, all right, you got your DVI, you got your HDMI, yeah, if it opens, okay. You got your display port, so all that's pretty typical. You got your MSI logo, which is typical as long as the card's made by MSI. If the card was made by someone else and it had an MSI logo, that would look a little weird. Okay, you got your PCIe 6-pin power connector. You got your Crossfire fingers right there, so you can connect your Crossfire bridge. This card only supports two-way Crossfire. It is a mid-range card as opposed to the 7900 series, which supports multi-way Crossfire configurations. PCIe 3.0 16x, which is pretty much what we're used to seeing. Now, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this particular unboxing. So you can see we've got our nice aluminum fin cooling solution going on here. We've got a center fan which is blowing the air towards the fins and cooling the GPU which is on the side well BAM dual fan cooling solution so you take this little pin what a wire thing right here you plug it into these pins right there and then you kind of, you know, manage the cable somehow. It comes with screws, so you can affix it more permanently. And there you go. You now have a dual fan cooled card. But wait, there's more. Hold on, hold on. So, so you can see the, uh, the heat sink covers the entire card. So you can experience up to, you know, five degrees better temperatures by going with this solution. Now, check this out. If you, oh, right, I guess I can leave this on. If you don't mind turning it from a dual slot card, see, two slots, into a triple slot card, you can also do this. So this just clips right here, just slide it back and forth. In fact, you could even position the fan here if you wanted, or here. It's totally up to you. So if you put it back in the normal position, you can actually build yourself like, um, like a double cheeseburger video card just by slapping that on there, which gives you more pressure, but not necessarily a ton more airflow, but definitely more static pressure, which is good for pushing air through radiator fins or heat sink fins, and, uh, but turns it into a triple slot card. So there you go. That's pretty much it. That is the three different ways you can configure the Radeon 7770 Power Edition in terms of cooling. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Look kind of like a car. It's like...